Now let's take a look at problem number 31. We want to find the second derivative of y for this curve x plus y squared equals 1. And for practice, we're going to use implicit differentiation. So let's go ahead. Uh, to find the second derivative, the first thing I really need to do is find the first derivative. So to take the first derivative, the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y squared is 2y times the derivative of y, dy dx. And the derivative of 1 is 0. OK, so uh, now I can solve this thing for dy dx. And I get that 2y times dy dx is negative 1. And that dy over dx is equal to negative 1 over 2y. All right, I have the first derivative. Now that I have the first derivative, I'm able to take the second derivative. So the derivative of dy dx is d squared y over dx squared. In other words, the derivative of the first derivative is the second derivative. And so I need to take the derivative of this side. But this side is a quotient. So we can use the quotient rule on. So I have negative 1. Let's just put this negative up with the 1. So I have a negative 1 on top and a 2y on the bottom. So I get the bottom 2y times the derivative of negative 1, which is 0, minus the top, which is negative 1, times the derivative of 2y. But the derivative of 2y is 2 times dy dx all over the bottom, which is 2y, squared. OK, let's simplify this a little bit. I get the d squared y over dx squared is equal to, uh, on top I have positive 2 dy dx, 2 dy dx over uh, 4y squared. Now. This is kind of a problem because I have in the answer dy dx, and we don't like that very much. So I can fix that by saying, oh, wait, I know what dy dx is. It's negative 1 over 2y. So I'll just take that negative 1 over 2y and plug it in right here for dy dx to get my final answer. By the way, one of the 2's cancels with this 4, giving me a 2 on the bottom. So we can write d squared y over dx squared is equal to, well, dy dx is on top, but that's negative 1 over 2y. And on the bottom, I have 2y squared. And if I like to, I could put that over 1, flip and multiply, and I get that d squared y over dx squared is equal to negative 1 over 2y times 1 over 2y squared. In other words, it's negative 1 over 4y cubed. And that's my answer.